Whenever you pray, remember, the prayer is not over until you hear something from him. Don't just show up in prayer and then you're like, you know, you, you come for prayer and then you begin telling him, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that, and then you leave. And you're like, well, let your kingdom come, let your will be done, forgive me for my sins, give me this, as I have forgiven those sinned against you, uh, uh, sinned against me, and you know, give me my daily bread and this, and then you pray the whole thing, and Lord God, help me with this, Lord God, help me with that, and you didn't get anything back from him, right? You spoke the whole time, only villains monologue, right? So it's gotta be a dialogue, prayer is a dialogue. It's, it's not an echoing, it's not like you're shouting commands into the atmosphere. Uh, you know, some, the people are like, you know, we prayed. Yeah, 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 you prayed, but what was the reply? It's not an echo, right? So you say what, what, what you know, you're speaking to God, and when you speak to God, the words that you use are his own words, the ones that he wrote to you in his word. And you speak back to him his own words, and he replies. It's not going out into the atmosphere and then just existing in a space. And then it's like it exists there until it completes, or you say it again, maybe the command didn't work. And you're like, you know, <laughs> you, he's like voice activation, like Siri, like this, turn the lights on, and the lights didn't come on, let me try again. You know, hey God, fix this. Oh, that didn't work, let me try again. Hey God, fix this. It's like, hey God, fixeth this thingeth. And you try again and again, and it's not, it doesn't work like that. There, there's an actual person on the other side and they need to say something back. And uh, this is incredible, but I think I should say it. Uh, God is not always in a good mood. The Lord says in his anger, he burned and he did judgment. Another one, it says God when he was, you know, he, he repented that he ever made man, he was grieved in his heart. God, when you speak to him, can be grieved, can be happy, he can be joyful, laughing on his throne, he can be real angry, he can be um, hurt. That's why it says don't grieve the Holy Spirit because it's possible. It doesn't have to be you that did it, it can be somebody else. And depending on how close your relationship with God is, he will tell you who hurt him. And he will tell you what they did. Or he will say, this person made me real angry. You know, sometimes, uh, depending upon the gift that God has given you if, you're, you, if you're like a prophet or an apostle or something like that, he will make you uh, release a judgment against that person. Uh, and so, like, you know, the person that they did wrong, if they did wrong to somebody else, that person doesn't actually have to say anything. A third party that God tells can enact judgment, can speak against it. Uh, this happens in the Bible. Hi, I'm Pastor David Moodley, and thank you for watching this video. Uh, we, love, we love you and we wanna ask for your support. Please like, share, and subscribe and impact somebody's life today with your social influence. We also wanna thank everyone that's been watching for a while, and we wanna invite you to become a part of the Global Church, become part of our family, and we've got lots of support for you as well over there, and we'll, we'll help you and pray for you, and we'll get someone dedicated to you. Also, if you're in the area, we wanna invite you to come through to the, the Miracle Center Johannesburg campus, or one of our other campuses once they're open, and we wanna invite you to attend church in person. There is, watching online is cool, but there's nothing like being in the house of God. We love you, God bless you, thank you.